Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Fjordor. And as you can see, we are at the entrance to a cave. If you look in the upper left corner of my screen, you're going to notice the exact coordinates that you need to go to. Yep, those are them. And uh, this is how you get to the Brood Mother on Alpha. This is an easy solo hack where you can do it by yourself without any problems, no teams, nothing difficult at all. All you're going to need is access to a frog. That's it. You need to tame yourself a Bezo Bufu. It does not matter the level at all. Literally. This is a wild 150, unleveled, no stats, no anything. Boom. Just so you can see it right there. Um, and it's got a prim saddle on it. I mean, not that we're going to take any damage because we're going to show you how to do this. And then you need a shotgun. A couple of med brews would be a good idea, but that's up to you. And I'm just going to do this. I'm not even concerned at all. I'll show you a sweet little trick. So basically in this trick, we're just going to get to a point where she can't damage us at all. And we just sit and shoot her with a shotgun. It's super useful, obviously, because yeah, no, this is, this is, I don't know why this wouldn't be useful to you. You can do this with one, two, three, however many people you want. You just have to fit them up on the ledge with you. So hopefully this kind of stuff helps you out. Make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel if this helps you out. If it does, that would be awesome. And basically, as soon as you spawn in, get on your Bezel Bufo, find this collapsed door up there. See, she's gonna like freak out and start coming towards me. Once you get to this collapsed door, jump up on this like little right-hand side over here, and then you can see me kind of like sliding down. We're gonna jump up, and you're gonna end up in this corner right up in here. Now in this corner, she can't get to you. No, that's not a joke. That's 100% serious. You can just sit right here all fight long. Sometimes what she'll do is she'll go around the corner a little bit, but there's literally nothing she can do. You can see that the minions don't even aggro to you. You just sit here. It's super powerful. Um, yeah, I don't know why you wouldn't want to use this strat. She'll walk around a little bit because she like gets a little bit lost and stuff, but uh, that's, that's about it. You can literally hop down on the floor, aggro her back over to you. She'll run around a little bit, and you just continue the strategy again and again. And she has, she just like sits there, she'll launch her stuff, and it's that easy. So, yeah, nothing super difficult. You literally just have to have a frog or whatever jumper you need to get up here. But in my personal opinion, I like the frog the most because it's the smallest. You'll take a little bit of damage from that stuff, so that's why you have the med bruise, and that's why you got a, I mean, obviously a good health frog and a good saddle on it would be just fine. But uh, you very rarely get hit because she, she realizes she can't hit you, and you just sit down and rain it upon her. Now, the more people you have, obviously, the better off you are, um, but you can do this solo easily. Um, you can fit as many people as you want. Sometimes she'll get stuck behind those poles, takes her a second to get around them, and then you just continue shooting as she's away like around the pole. Now, what you're going to need in all likelihood, it depends on how, what your shotgun is, but if you have a cap shotgun, like three or four hundred shots is probably going to do you just fine. The more you can bring the merrier, just in case, obviously. Um, because you're gonna run this a whole bunch if you want to um, but just sitting up in this corner is how you get it done It's really that simple. And you notice she's already half health. I'm just sitting out here destroying her um, If you have three four or five people um, Sometimes she can kind of get close to you like you see right now But she can't actually hit you because there's like a little ledge that she can't get up um, The solution to that by the way if you want to kind of get around to that you jump out behind her and then jump back up because she'll turn around and her turn radius is really wide um, so you can kind of just cheese her enti the entire fight. Now, if you wanted to, you can kind of sit back up in the corner and like crouch off of your frog. And that's also a pretty good way to do this boss fight because you don't really need to worry about too much. Um, you can see that, I mean, yes, you're going to take some damage from those things. But again, that's why you've got the flak, you've got the riot, and uh, you just sit up here. Now, what you can do as well, and I've never thought about this, but bring in your like Rexus and stuff like that and have them start doing the damage and tank and you just sit up from a distance and just smoke this fight because they just t they tank a little bit for you and do what you need them to while you're shooting. Now, you can see sometimes she'll go off to that right hand side over there. I don't care. I wait for her to come back um, and you can again readjust the frog. Um, sometimes you can get up nice and high right here and she won't even shoot at you. Rotate that frog a little bit more so we can actually get to her. And uh, you can see she's just like super pissed off, but there's nothing she can do. One million health is how much she has. So uh, yeah, not too shabby. We're going to be just fine. Um, and again, you can do this pretty quick because she takes the bonus damage from weapons, like you see. Um, pretty easy boss fight to kill because of that reason. So anyways, this is something that's pretty easy. I don't really have any, like you can see, we're, per time we're doing like five, 6,000. Uh, oh, I dropped down. So as soon as you drop down like that, you can kind of just like run around like I am, 
but uh, you can also just launch yourself up and go back up to where you want to be because the frog is uh, a legendary creature. You can kind of like scale cliffs like that pretty easily. And then you just go right back. Again, just use small finger pokes when you're doing this because if you use what I did right there and hold forwards, uh, you'll end up down there with them and that's that's how you end up losing this fight. Um, but you can just sit up here and smoke her. And it's, it's literally that easy. She can't do anything to you. Yep, pretty fun. And bring some meat for your frog, just in case he takes a bunch of damage. Not a big deal. But, you see, pretty simple. I mean, if you had four people, you could easily fit four people up there. Um, you could have, probably fit more than that up there. Like, they just all sit up here, like have the people on this lower row right here. This would probably even almost be better right here if you sat in this spot. Because when you're in this spot, I'll show you. You can kind of crouch so you're covered and you can shoot the top side of her. Um, and when you're shooting that top side of her, she uh, she really can't. Man, you can see that. Bye bye, Froggy. But you can see that she can't really take too much damage um, from the. You can't take damage from her, I mean. And then you just shoot from above. Same thing with this over here. If you get up here and your frog dies, not a problem. Just sit up in this higher corner. Or if you want to, you can lay down as well. And that could be a solution to not getting hit, but uh, you can do whatever you want. So it's a super easy way to cheese this fight. Hope this helps you out. Make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment below. That would be awesome. Hope this helps you out. Teach. Out.